Welcome back to part two of the MOBA Xterm playlist. Today we're going to be continuing the discussion of MOBA Xterm, which is a free tool you can use as a terminal emulator in your environment. In this video, I'll be reviewing the ins and outs of SSH sessions, crypto keys, terminal shortcuts, and terminal logging. Within MOBA Xterm, we're going to start by creating a brand new session under our home lab folder we created in the previous video. To do this, we're going to right click on our home lab folder, click on new session and specify the parameters of what we're going to be connecting to. In this case, it's going to be a Cisco switch. After we've added our Cisco switch, we're going to be adding another session to our home lab folder. In this case, it's going to be a Eve NG virtual machine. So we're going to repeat the process with a new session and specify our SSH parameters. And we're going to log in. To eliminate the need for external secure file transfer programs, what MOBA Xterm has done is incorporated an SCP GUI. This functionality is present for any SSH sessions you connect to and from, so it's as simple as dragging and dropping files into directories. I'm going to demonstrate that by dragging a test file from my other screen onto the directory listed on the left hand side. And there's my test file. As I imagine, you're just like me and navigating through multiple applications on a daily basis and repeatedly get disconnected from devices on a common basis. I recommend using the following feature to keep your SSH sessions alive. When logged into a device or session, open up your settings tab and navigate to the SSH configuration. So from here, I'm logged into my Cisco switch. I'm going to go to the settings tab and then you'll notice SSH. And then in here, you have a box called SSH Keep Alive. If I enable this, what this is gonna do is every 60 seconds, it's gonna send SSH data to my session or to my device that I'm currently logged into and keep my session alive to prevent disconnects. Let's say the crypto key on one of your devices has changed and you wanna still be able to access it via SSH again. Thankfully, MobileX has a GUI-driven feature that eliminates the need to run the ssh-keygen command for individual sessions. However, if you're SSHing into devices from a terminal server, I'll include that command in the bottom of the video for reference. To demonstrate this feature, I'm going to generate a new crypto key on my Cisco switch, log out, and try reconnecting to it. So we're going to go into configure terminal, and then crypto key generate RSA. Then I'm going to log out and completely close my session, navigate back to my sessions tab. From here, I'm going to try to re-log into my Cisco switch. This time around, you're going to notice warning remote server identification has changed and we want to accept to trust this new identity because we generated a new crypto key. And I'm going to log back into my switch as normal. In order to archive any work you may have done within a session or within MOBAX, you can enable terminal logging to save your work. To do this, go to your settings tab, click on configuration, and navigate to your terminal tab. From here, you'll see terminal features listed, and then there is a box listing log terminal output to the following directory. For the sake of today's training video, I've created a test folder that will log all of our output. You can specify a specific file name if you'd like for any of your custom logs that you may be setting up for. You can also specify the log type between printable output, all session output, or printable output with timestamps. For the purpose of today's training video, I'm going to show you what the printable output looks like. So from just a generic logon to my Cisco switch, this is what the actual printable output will look like. That concludes all the features I wanted to cover in today's video. Thank you for watching and feel free to comment below and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future.